Alright, hi again guys, um, welcome to another video. First of all, I just want to thank everyone that's um, subscribed to my channel, that's great. I really didn't expect that many people to um, subscribe and to all the views as well. Uh, that really shocked me, I was probably only expecting a few. Um, but at the time of recording this, we're touching 12,000, so it's all good. Um, apologies for the delay in uploading the second video, things are taking a little longer than I thought. Um, and as I previously said, if something's not right, then I'm just not going to do it. Um, I'm going to take my time with it. I'm going to try not to cut any corners at all on this build. So, yeah, apologies again for the delay in the video. However, what I have managed to do <coughs> is sort out this tip of a garage. Um, I'll show you that now. Um, and then we'll go on to the topic of today's video. Okay, there we go. We can see I've actually bothered my arse and um, I've tidied the garage up a bit. It's still not perfect, um, but it's workable. Okay, I've got a lot more working space now, um, and I've managed to organise things a bit better. Obviously, as I said, it would have been sooner, but just moving into the property uh, kind of delayed me a bit. So yeah, that's what we're working with now. Um, like I say, it's not perfect. There probably are better options, but this is what I've got. This is what I'm going to have to work with. Right then, on to the subject of today's video. Okay, now today's video is a bit different. Um, we're not really going to be talking through part of the build as such. What I'm going to be doing instead is something I've not really ever done before, and that's more of like a product review type thing. Um, now I've seen plenty of videos on this product on YouTube, but none of them seem to be from just a general consumer as such. They seem to be from uh, companies or the actual company themselves that, that make the product. Okay, and the product we're going to be testing today is a vapor rust. Okay, now you've probably seen the videos yourselves, like I have online, um, of the company itself and, and other companies testing the product. Now I wanted to actually see whether it does what it says, what they say it does. Um, so we're going to be testing that today, just on a few small things, um, and we'll see how that goes. So we'll make our way over to the workbench, we'll give it a go. Okay then, so here we go. Now, all it says to do um, on the tub is just pour it into a container really and let the item soak. Now, I'm just going to be doing a few small things. So we've got a uh, few fasteners, okay. Um, and then we're going to go for a bit of a tough challenge as well. We're going to see if it'll remove all of that from around this bracket. I'm not expecting it to, uh, but if it does, then great. Now, the actual product, it says that it's super safe. Okay? Um, I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says safe on skin and eyes. Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to take that risk. I'm going to keep my gloves on, I think. Um, but as you probably noticed, I'm not wearing coveralls, so I'm taking its word a little bit. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Now, as you can see, I've not tried this before. Um, it's still sealed. So we'll go ahead and get this seal off now. Oh, that's typical, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, what I'll do is I'll leave um, a full description of this and a link to where you can buy it from and a price in the comments below. Um, so, yeah, so now we're just going to do what it says to do, I think. Okay. Bear the clumsiness. Uh, I don't use, generally use my left hand for anything. Okay, yeah, so, uh, a bit more. Yeah, we'll just put some in there. You obviously put the lid back on. Right, now what we're going to do is do what it says. We're going to soak the items in the rust remover. And as you can see, they are actually. Right, rust apologies for the light. They are actually still quite rusty, so I'll chuck them in there. One thing it does say to do on there, I forgot to mention, obviously wipe off any oil or grease, um, so we'll remove it at the end of the day, not a degreaser. Okay, so if we have a look at that now, that's, this one's going to be fully submerged, so better get a quick shot in of it before. Okay, and then we'll push that back. Let's see if we can get some of this in. It doesn't need to be much, just a bit to get a comparison off after. Yeah, now it says to leave for 1 to 12 hours, check in periodically. Um, so we'll leave it there. I'll come back in a bit and we'll see how it's got on. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, so it's been an hour. Um, we've come back and let's see if there's actually, well, see if any rust has been removed from the items we dropped in the liquid. Um, let's have a look at this one first. Get it under a light so we can see. Um, well, not, not really. It seems to have wet the rust. Um, nothing's actually been removed yet. 
Let's check on the little one. There we go, same detail. Um, wet the rust. Nothing's been removed. Let's have a look at the big piece. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, you can see, kind of see that some's come off, but not that much. Okay, and let's have a look at this bit. Nothing, no difference whatsoever. Okay, right, so what we'll do is we'll leave it for another hour, um, we'll come back to it then, and we'll see if there's been any improvement on that. Um, it does say 1 to 12 hours, to be fair, so we did check at the bare minimum. Um, so we'll come back and check again in a bit, like I say. Right, check it a bit. Right, hello again. Yeah, um, I've left it this time. I left it for a bit of an extended period. I left for three hours, um, and now I've come to check on it. So we'll see what the results are after three hours, shall we? Yeah, if we start with the big fastener this time again. Okay, yeah. Uh, so it's it's kind of it's cleaned it a bit. Um, there are that's not really done anything. Yeah, it has kind of cleaned it a little bit, but nothing, nothing massive. It's certainly not like it is on their um, on their video where they've left it in for an hour and they pull it out and half of it's gleaming brand new and half of it's still rusty. It's nothing like that whatsoever. Um, yeah, it's I think it's probably struggling a little bit. Um, Okay, what I'll do is, I mean, it's not looking great for it at the minute. I mean, it is cleaning it, but it, it's not, like I said, it's nothing like the results that they uh, they show you on the on their videos. Um, I'll leave it for a little bit longer, and then we'll come back to it in a bit, see what happens then. Um, like I said, it does say up to 12 hours on the box, on the box, on the tub. So we'll have a, we'll have a look then. Alright, okay, so we'll leave it a bit longer, we'll come back to it later. Okay, speak to you in a bit. Bye. Right, okay then guys, um, I've come back, I've left it for the maximum time it says 12 hours, um, and these are the results, so we've got the first one I put in, um, I don't know if you can really see, but it's not, it's not got rid of the rust, uh, the rust's still there, um, it's certainly nothing like the videos that they show you, um, where they, they pull it out and it's pristine clean, um, the same on this, um, as you can see, it's it's still covered in rust, so yeah, I'm gonna gonna have to go with this being a fail. Um, again, you can see this one was completely submerged. It's it's not moved it whatsoever. Um, I mean, it's probably removed some of it, but it's certainly not got rid of all of it like it says on the some of the reviews I've seen. Uh, and again, this bit nothing. Now for the price of this. Um, there you see the price I put in the comments. For the price of this, you can go to somewhere like Screwfix or maybe even Argos or your local hardware shop, depending on where you're from, um, and you can buy one of them for the same price. Uh, it doesn't need to be a very expensive one. I mean, I think that one cost me uh, £20. Uh, it does the job just fine. I mean, I've left that to, these to soak for 12 hours in there, um, and if I turn it over, that was what I achieved in about 5 seconds with the wire wheel on the bench grinder. Um, the same, I did it on them all just to show you, I mean, that was what we achieved after 12 hours in the rust remover and that's what I achieved after 5 seconds on the Y wheel bench grinder. Um, like I say, I did it with them all, so again, that's what we achieved after 12 hours and that's what I achieved after 5 seconds. Exactly the same on this, after 12 hours, nothing, I mean, yeah, you could possibly argue that it's removed some of it but definitely not all of it, not like the reviews that I've seen said it does. Um, and there we go, that was what I achieved after five seconds on the uh, the bench grinder. So yeah, um, we'll call that a fail I think. Yep, so there you go guys, that was the review on um, Evapor Rust. Um, now I'm, I'm, as I say, I'm going to be brutally honest on this, I'm not getting endorsed by this company or anything. I went out and bought this myself. Um, the company's probably got no idea I'm doing the the review, but I wouldn't. I, I'm not happy with the purchase. It doesn't do um, what it says it does, um, and it certainly doesn't work as well as what the reviews that I've seen on YouTube um, says it works at. So 
they're going to not happy. Like I've said, for the amount that you pay for this, um, you can go out and buy a bench grinder for the same price with a wire wheel on the end, and it takes you five seconds to get it down to bare metal rather than leaving it to uh, soak in this for 12 hours. Um, I'll put the link in there in case anybody does want to buy it for themselves. Um, in case anyone wants to give it a go for themselves, it might work better for you, I don't know. Um, but other than that, yeah, so that's my first review done. Um, brutally honest, I'm not going to buy it again. It just doesn't seem to work that well. Right, I'll see you again um, when I post up part two of the Skyline build, which is going to be the engine block. So, I'll see you in a bit. Cheers, guys.